from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, January the 5th, 2021. A Palestinian man tried to carry out a stabbing attack in the West Bank today. The IDF said that a security coordinator and a soldier saw the man approach the Gush Etzion Junction and ordered him to stop, also firing warning shots in the air. But the man ignored the warnings and threw a meat cleaver at the security coordinator, who then opened fire in response. The terrorist was shot dead. Israel's Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi said that the normalization deal reached last year with the United Arab Emirates has now been ratified by the UAE and is official. Ashkenazi tweeted the news today saying the peace process with the Emirates became official today. This morning, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs received an official letter from Abu Dhabi confirming the ratification of the peace agreement by the Emirates. With Ashkenazi adding congratulations to our friends from the Emirates on this celebratory day of peace in the Middle East. And Israeli media reported today that Eitan Na'ed, the country's former ambassador to Turkey, will temporarily lead Israel's temporary mission in the UAE. According to the Khan public broadcaster, Na'ed is heading to Abu Dhabi to establish the temporary mission becoming the first Israeli to have a full diplomatic status in the Emirates. Na'e will reportedly lead that temporary mission for a few months until a permanent embassy and permanent ambassador are put into place. And following the normalization of ties between Israel and Morocco just last month, the American Jewish Committee's Young Professionals Network Access signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Mimuna Association today, an organization of young Moroccan Muslim leaders, to advance relations between young Americans, Israelis, and Moroccans, and to share what Arabs and Jews have in common as well as what makes them diverse. The AJC tweeted today that for decades, AJC has worked to advance peace and cooperation between Jews and Muslims, and Israel and the Arab world, saying that the MOU will build on this proud legacy. The Jerusalem Post cites Mimuna President El Mehdi Boudra, saying that 2,500 years of Jewish history in Morocco has created unique ties between Morocco and the Jewish people. He said the AJC has been a committed partner of ours for many years. Together, we are looking forward to strengthening the natural bonds between our communities and enriching the new period of engagement between Israel and Morocco. The defense ministries of Israel and Greece have agreed to a major defense deal. Israel's defense ministry said the $1.68 billion deal that spans over 20 years includes the establishment and operation of a flight school for the Hellenic Air Force by Israeli company Elbit Systems, as well as the sale of 10 M346 aircraft known as the Lavi. Israel's Defense Minister Benny Gantz said this agreement reflects the excellent and developing relations we have with Greece. It is a long-term partnership that will serve the interests of both Israel and Greece, create hundreds of jobs in both countries, and promote stability in the Mediterranean. And the Greek government strongly condemned anti-Semitic vandalism that took place in the city of Drama in the Macedonia region. The Central Board of Jewish Communities in Greece reported today that vandals sprayed a Christogram cross and graffiti on the Holocaust monument of Drama and broke a part of its marble base with similar defacement reported at a memorial at a nearby warehouse where Jews were imprisoned before being deported to the Nazi death camps during the Holocaust. Both incidents apparently took place at the end of December. The Greek foreign ministry condemned the vandalism, which it called heinous acts that are an affront to the memory of the victims of Nazi brutality and to Greek culture. We reiterate, it said, the importance of rejecting racism, hatred, and fanaticism, and the need to defend our moral values. 
and the mayor of Drama ordered the monument's immediate restoration. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, January the 5th at 7 o'clock, Rabbi Mark Golub introduces the JBS series from the Aleph Bet by illustrating why Hebrew is a much easier language to learn than English and how Hebrew words often convey Jewish values. At 7.30, learn your first three Hebrew letters and read the most important word in the practice of Judaism. At 8, Rabbi Uri Regev talks about the growth of Reform and Conservative Judaism in Israel with three progressive Israeli rabbis, Gilad Kariv, Chaya Rowan Baker, and Rabbi Dahlia Marks. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Rabbi David Elezri on L'Chaim. At 10.30, author Anita Diamond discusses her book, The Boston Girl. And coming up next, it's ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, January the 5th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.